while acknowledging significant development in the area, Ombara Epen the second Kuvawa says that much still needs to be done to better the lives of the community, especially in the area of agriculture. Guwawa spoke briefly on the condition of livestock grazing and poor underground water that has limited farming activities. He suggests that government needs to relook at the resettlement policy to accommodate more of the previously disadvantaged groups. <laughs> We have been relocated to very unfavorable grazing area and this affects us a lot. I'm pleading to government through my leaders for the government to get us water from other areas through piping projects, even from army news, as we are in dire need of water. He also reminded his community on the importance of preserving their culture and traditional norms. Speaking on behalf of the Minister of Education, Arts and Culture, Anani Pondoka, the Deputy Director in the Ministry, Bwesen Gondo, pointed out that the centenary should not only reflect on the past, but should pass on the heritage that defines our Banderu community. The cultural activities and demonstrations of the, of the original migration remind us all, especially the youth, and I just spoke to that, of our roots and values that guides us, our language, our traditions, and shared history live on through this acts, breaching the gap between generations and ensuring that our stories continue to be to, to be taught and to resonate. Omaheke Governor Beyond Ganate says Ovambanderu played a pivotal role during the time of the liberation struggle, hence the government will continue to support them. We stood by you yesterday, today and tomorrow. Trust us and we will keep moving forward in delivering desired development as alluded by Honorable Pakarai to the betterment of not only Bukiro but Namibia as a whole. The commemoration was concluded with various cultural activities including horse parade. Garia Kavari, NBC News, Oma Wedonyanda in the Epukiro constituency.